guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Now when I did my rescape of Captain Cranky Pants tank, a lot of you pointed out that I had never really talked to you guys about Whiskey, the four-line Pim Ladella cat that's in that aquarium. So today we're going to talk about Whiskey, the four-line Pim, who is Captain Cranky Pants tank mate and a gentle giant. So let's get started. Now, the species that whiskey is, is a Pimladella blochii, or the four-line pim, and they come from South America. They have a broad distribution from Panama the whole way to Brazil, where they live in the lower reaches of the larger rivers. And you can tell that with those long, long barbels that they have that they use to find their food and their way across the sandy bottoms of the rivers. Now they are a largely nocturnal catfish, so you'll see them being most active at dark. And it's important in an aquarium to provide them with all these hiding spots in order for them to feel secure. They are easily spooked, and let me tell you, these guys are fast. They're really, really easy to feed, however, readily accepting any sinking pellet, frozen foods, and sometimes even vegetable matter. They are an omnivore. Now, they are good in groups, but they're also perfectly fine being housed alone like Whiskey is here. Though I imagine it would be really, really epic to see a large group of these guys in a really huge aquarium. For a single specimen, you would want an aquarium of at least 55 gallons in order for them to have adequate swimming and exploring space. Now, the, and that's because these guys get to 10 inches or 30 centimeters. They can take a wide range of parameters with a temperature range of 68 to 79 Fahrenheit or 20 to 26 degrees centigrade, though I find them to do best on the upper reaches of that, of that scale. They are plant safe and do well in, in big planted aquariums. However, you need to take caution when choosing tank mates because they can eat smaller fish. Now that being said, I kept Whiskey in my 150 before it was set up as the Hillstream Aquarium and I had him in there with Danios and they would literally sit on his head and he did not eat a single one. So I would imagine that a lot comes down to individual personality. Whiskey here is an exceptionally gentle giant and I've really, really enjoyed keeping him in this aquarium with Captain Cranky Pants. Now they are appropriate to house with things like guramis, larger tetras, barbs, um, but you may want to take caution on housing them with fish like angels or other mid-sized cichlids that are a little bit more sensitive or flighty because those barbels are super long and can be kind of annoying to those more delicate fish. In this aquarium, as you know, we have them with Captain Cranky Pants who has decided he really likes them and they're good buddies. So he's certainly appropriate to house with fish like Oscars as well. All in all, I think he's a really sweet catfish and super fun to keep in this aquarium. All in all, I just really enjoy keeping this catfish and I can't recommend him enough for a larger community setting. However, we should always take into consideration our ability to provide the correct environment and whiskey and other four-line pims are certainly a fish that need at least a 55 gallon or larger aquarium. Now in the stores they are often sold at a teeny tiny size and a very inexpensive price of usually around $8. So it can be tempting to get one with, and without knowing how big they really get, 10 inches, you can easily overstock your aquarium. Right Captain? As always, thank you guys for your continued support. Make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. Now, up next is the Big Fish Deal, March 2nd through 4th in Maryland, and I will be giving a lecture as well as hosting a speaker panel. Uh, there's also an Aquarium Beautiful competition, rare fish auction, a ton of raffles, vendors, and it's just a really good time. I'll put the link below. I would love to meet a lot of you there.